Hello everyone, today I will be doing a plastic surgery analysis on the members of Red Velvet. This was requested in the comment section of my idol plastic surgery analysis. If you have any requests which group you want to see me analyze, please leave it in the comments. I think plastic surgery is neither bad or good, and celebrities have immense pressure to look as good as they possibly can which can be helped by plastic surgery. I think it will be a healthier environment if celebrities in general are more open and honest about plastic surgery and cosmetic procedures that they've done, or at least not lie about it, so the general public can see that beauty is attainable through plastic surgery. I know there's a stigma around plastic surgery all around the world, but people need to realize that it's pretty common among celebrities, as it's demanded by society that celebrities look perfect, so we shouldn't blame them if they resort to plastic surgery. I want this video series to be a form of discussion between people who are interested in the possible procedures celebrities had and break the negative sentiment around plastic surgery. I assume that many celebrities, including K-pop idols, have done some sort of cosmetic procedures because their occupation demands them to look as good as they possibly can. I may be totally wrong about this assumption as I don't know what goes on behind the scenes. A few disclaimers before we begin. I'm not a plastic surgeon, nor have I gotten plastic surgery, so my knowledge in this area is limited. These are just my speculations and not facts. I have no idea about the member's medical history, and these are just my speculations, so you can respectfully disagree. This post is not meant to send hate to the members, as they are probably pressured by the industry to look as good as they possibly can. With that out of the way, let's get started. Irene has a lot of cute pretty beautiful photos online. She has always been beautiful. I see some changes to her eyes. She used to have small double eyelids, but now her eyelids are a lot higher. I think she got double eyelid surgery. We can clearly see a consistent crease line on her eyelids when her eyes are not fully open or when she's looking down. This is usually a sign of double eyelid surgery. I also think Irene got a rhinoplasty. We can see that her nose is currently taller and slimmer compared to her nose during pre debut She likely got a nose implant to achieve this look. In this recent photo, we can see a shape resembling an implant on the bridge of her nose. She also seemed to have lost a lot of volume on her face. I think she got subtle cheekbone reduction and Botox injections to her jaw muscle to make her jawline smaller. I'm not too sure about the cheekbone reduction though. In conclusion, I think Irene got double eyelid surgery, rhinoplasty, and Botox injection to her jawline. There's also a possibility that she got subtle cheekbone reduction. She is truly the original visual, both pre debut and now. Moving on to Sulgi. Sulgi also has a lot of pre debut photos online. I don't see many changes to her face. She has always had her alluring monolids and a great bone structure. She did lose a lot of volume on the lower part of her face, but I think this is natural aging process of losing her baby fat. I think she is likely natural. In conclusion, I think Sulgi is likely natural. She is such a talented main dancer with great stage presence. Even though she is the main dancer, she is also really good at singing. I find that very impressive. Moving on to Wendy. Wendy looked like she has lost quite a lot of weight. She has always had a bright smile. The biggest change I see to her face are her eyes. She used to have heavier upper eyelids, making her eyes look more hooded. But now the hood seems less heavy. This was likely caused by an upper blepharoplasty. Her current nose also looks to be taller compared to her nose during pre debut Wendy also might have gotten a nose lift to make her nose tip less droopy. We can see in the pre debut photo that her nose tip hangs lower than it does now. I also think she may have gotten subtle fillers to her top and bottom lips. In conclusion, I think Wendy got an upper blepharoplasty, rhinoplasty with nose lift, and fillers to her top and bottom lips. She looks amazing both pre debut and now. Her smile can light up the room. She is such a talented vocalist. I think she's one of the best vocalists in third gen K pop. Moving on to Joy. Joy doesn't have as much pretty beat photos as the previous members, but it seems like she also lost quite a lot of weight. She has always had large eyes and the same smile we know and love. I believe she got a subtle rhinoplasty to make her nose slimmer. Other than that, I don't think I see other changes to her face. In conclusion, I think Joy got a rhinoplasty. She is beautiful both pretty beauty and now. 
her weight loss really changed her face and body in a positive way. It seems like she has a lot more confidence because of this. Last but not least, we have Yeri. Yeri has adorable 3D beat photos online. She has always had large eyes and a big smile. I didn't see many changes to her face. I believe she is likely natural. In conclusion, I think Yeri is likely natural. She's truly blessed with good looks. I love her big smile. Her smile has the ability to make other people smile. I hope anyone watching this takes this post in a positive way and realize that plastic surgery is not a bad thing. We need to understand that K-pop idols and other celebrities have a lot of pressure to look good and it's not a bad thing if they resort to plastic surgery as it is demanded by society. Red Velvet recently just made their comeback with Feel My Rhythm. I really like the song. Let's all support the comeback. As I stated in the beginning, this is not meant for fuel to send hate towards the members. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.